up everybody? Uh, today I want to show you uh, the camper that we have. Do a little review on the toy hauler. Ignore the traffic. They live on a main road. It sucks. Anyways, this is uh, the Springdale 27th. We, uh, we purchased it, what, a year and a half ago? Two, no, almost two years ago. Almost two years ago or around two years ago. Uh, it's been pretty good. Um, I'll show you a few things with it, but uh, there was there's two main reasons when we bought this camper two main things that we looked at when we bought it um, And number one was to make sure the ATVs that we take fit in it and number two That you can access the bathroom anytime you want even when the ATVs and stuff are in there that way when you're traveling uh, different things like that you can actually Get into the bathroom and use it or the bedroom if you have to stop overnight somewhere and don't want to unload your wheelers so um, I'm going to show you a few of those things and uh, some good things about this and it's all a preference on what you want for a, a, a toy hauler. This one is uh, fairly inexpensive, it's a little over, little over $20,000 um, but you can, you can spend a lot more than that. This is probably pretty basic. This is half ton compatible. Um, it's right at its limit for a half ton pickup truck but uh, the truck does pretty well towing it. So let's, uh, I'll show you a few things with it. And uh, let you make your own judgment. All right, this camper, this camper does have the uh, electric uh, stabilizers. Works pretty good when you're setting up. This uh, you can set up pretty quickly with this camper and be done with it. Uh, another thing with this camper, the awning. The awning goes about the full length of the camper, so it's a nice big awning. Um, unfortunately, last year we were camping at 8th Lake and we were too close to the fire that they built up too big and we got a couple holes in the awning, but we repaired those. They seem to be, uh, they seem to be pretty good right now. So, uh, got the stabilizer in the back. Uh, fold up stairs. These stairs weren't the, the best of stairs. I do like the other ones that Mikey has. Uh, Mike's got the same camper, but, um, his stairs are a lot better. They fold up out of the door. And I'm not sure if he's got the rail in here or not. I can't remember, but uh, this one's just got the small handle. All right, what's nice about this one? Uh, this is where the ATVs go in here. Get two end to end. Uh, you gotta be careful here. It's hit a little bit a few times. Uh, short runs I don't even strap the wheelers down long runs I do and most of the time they don't stay where they're supposed to be but anyways uh, this one's got the the beaver tail in the back it's got the arch ceilings which uh, give you a little more headroom and uh, maybe for a side-by-side -side or something with a taller ceiling or taller roof you would be able to get in here there was a uh, these aren't the most comfortable little freaking couches there was one there, we had to remove it so we could get the generator in here um, and tables and we put a cooler here. Uh, but we did take one of these out. I guess if you're going to have a side-by-side -side in here and try to fit one, probably both of these will have to come out. And there will be no furniture in here. So it is what it is with these smaller ones. Modest well, got the sink uh, covered, it's got everything else. Um, but like I said, the main, the other main thing is with the with the wheelers are sitting here the door is here um when we, we travel we get to a gas station to fill up the truck um, the wife can jump in here she can go to the bathroom and come out and finish pumping the gas i jump in here and i can use the bathroom and we're on our way just like that um, you can't access the refrigerator where well, the wheelers are in here because um, it's right here but you could get into the freezer climbing over wheelers if if you had to uh, but bathroom uh, it's not a bad bathroom it's got a skylight in here and a, a fart fan in case uh, you don't really get stinky in here which it does sometimes you know that's just how it goes uh, but, uh, shower is dirty that's from ATVing in the dirt and that needs to be cleaned up it's a challenge keeping these toy haulers clean when you're in the mud and all that kind of stuff all the time and then a little tiny bedroom but this is uh, where we sleep. Skylight's got air conditioning, heater, whatever you might need. Covered space. 
still seems like there's never enough room to uh to put everything but it's still way better than it was in the uh the hot box that's out there janelle she still loves that hot box and likes to go stay in it every now and then you know actually bailey and rod they're going to be there today they had just bought a new toy hauler used one so we'll get to check that one out and see what that one's uh, all about but um yeah this is uh this is toy down here we put uh, this this floor well you can see the linoleum that they have underneath this is uh rubber roofing that we put down so that when we bring the wheelers up in when they're dirty muddy wet whatever it might be helps protect the floor we just did some cutouts for the tie downs not many tie downs they're not really in perfect spots we could change them but i really don't want to tear the bottom of the camper out to get into them because it's all insulated and, and it's got a black liner to protect everything so so far it's been fine camera the, the wheelers got a few uh the bumpers where they bang together a few chips in them but uh, other than that and this thing gets a little dirty but it does have a screen thing you can draw across here and leave it open to get fresh air in here if you need to be but uh the rubber the rubbers really help keep this uh keep this clean in here so all right well let's get to uh stuck in the muck and what we'll do is i'll show you some other campers and then you can give uh some ideas on what you might like for toy hauler something like that to save the headaches that we went through trying to decide what we wanted and and what to get so we'll get to stuck in the muck all right so this is uh this is the camper all set up that's the awning a little breezy but not too bad these things uh you can pull these down if it gets too windy uh it helps it sheds rain one way or the other but uh if it gets too windy you put it up because they're too expensive to uh to lose but this one uh, this camper's plumbed for the grill so just have to run a line to there and she's nice to set up level she's pretty good here's Bailey's toy hauler this is the same thing as Timmy and Taylor's I think maybe a little different color but uh there's one there's has the tank put gas in so for your toys toy hauler it's like a 40 gallon tank mine doesn't have that we just carry gas cans all right so this uh this layout's kind of the same except they got a bed up above that comes down in the back it's got a little beaver tail in the back um but this one when the wheelers are in here you could sneak in through here to the bathroom bedroom which makes it nice like I said, that was one of the main things mine had to have. Big enough for the wheelers, able to get to the bathroom with, with the wheelers in there, in the bedroom. So this is a, this is a pretty nice setup too. I think this is the same as Timmy Taylor's. Just like I'll walk to my crib kind of thing. The only thing he forgot was the back door. Back door, you don't know. Oh, hey, this is pretty fucking cool. It's got his cheesy balls. Gotta have a cheesy balls. Mattress, table, RV refridge right here. Oh, now we're blurry. What the hell? Where'd you get that? You have a What's RV up? somewhere you tore apart? Yeah, I about picked up a camper for 1500 bucks, and I took this, <clears throat> all that, took the, some of the appliances, black and gray water tanks. Nice. So what's this? You got a the you know, shower? Shower. Shower. Oh shit. This is cool. And then the wheeler goes back here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what the hell's this thing? Uh, that's a heater from before. I gotta take that out yet. I'm gonna say because if you get a side by side or something, mm -hmm. ever. It'll be close with the ceiling height. There's the hot water. Cool. That p pushes out some really hot water. I bet. That's scared like it was burning me last time. <laughs> last time the first time I tried using it. Yeah, that is pretty sweet. That is one way to do it right there. Wait, who's this guy? That it is hilarious. the legend. I'm Chad Randall. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Fuel. Nice. This camper here has got a big uh the kitchen slides out on it. 
It's pretty nice. It's got it locked. Come with a generator. This is fancy. Fancy, fancy camper. Beauty. Onboard fuel station. Nice. Okay, here's the inside of this toy hauler. The kitchen, it's a slide out, hard to see. The kitchen's a slide out, which gives you a lot more room. Both of them wheelers fit in here. Did you have to pull right up to this? Of course, that goes across. So you can probably come right to this, Scott, with your wheeler. Just shut up for a minute, I'll do it. <coughs> or you can turn it, turn it on when I, as I do it. You have to fold this up. That's some fancy shit right there. Yep. Yep. Goes right straight through the, the bathroom into the bedroom. Well, you couldn't get once the wheelers are in, but you got the door. No, wheelers can't still. You still get through there with the wheelers? Yeah, um, I'll put the tire right here. Yep. And I can still, there's a walkway. Oh, okay. It's wide enough. And for, I can still go yep. like that there. But you got the other door too outside. Uh, I see. It's high enough, you have to pull the legs in. It's high enough, I can do it right now. Oh, I see. Some legs down there. Up and out of the way. That is nice. And the wheelers can come in. Cool. Oh! All right, everybody, hopefully this video helped you out a little bit, maybe deciding on a few of the features you might want with the toy hauler. When we went out to get this uh, this toy hauler, didn't seem to be a whole lot of choices at the time, uh, but now we've seen all kinds of different ones now. So, uh, but hopefully this, this will help you. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, some pretty nice campers out there, I can tell you that. But uh, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Uh, lots more ATV to do this year, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Ultimate Outdoors, later.